stages what you're looking for here a little bit this time because I mean it's four years on there's the history but there's also the tournament there's a lot of things to consider here yeah yeah and when you look at the four players all play with exactly the same bat reverse One rubber ball. on both sides all four players have good backhand tops and good forehand tops so I think the winning pair will be the pair that get in with the first strong tops and I think we're going to see 90% of the time maybe even more short serve just keep the serve tight and then your partner tries to get in with a strong top spin. And that will be the same on you know, with all four players. It's great that we have on the screen there, from a men's singles point of view, we have the gold medalist, the silver medalist, and the bronze medalist. What we don't know is who's winning what colour. And obviously we've got the gold medalist and the silver medalist in the men's doubles. So it is the elite of the men, everything to play for. And certainly, I would say India so far have had the better tournament. They won the men's team event. Well done, India. But I think England have got stronger and stronger. And I do think this is going to be really close. Pitchford just seems to be hitting a rich vein of form. Backhand seems to be coming on. Paul Drinkle has played at a high level throughout. He's played some of the finest tail tennis I've seen for quite a few years from Paul. Back to his best, which is great to see. Fascinating spot on thoughts is always there, I think, Don. It is. There's just so many different ways you can spin this. Taken by your very, very first comment, that it just comes down to which pair executes on the day in the match. Got it. That's a good start here from the Indians. Five for the first eight. Good tight service there. Now the second round didn't back off, then he stayed up to the table, absorbed the pace that was on the ball, and even just added a bit by punching it back. Go! to uh, retie a shoelace here. That's the pause in play. It's been a helter-skelter start from both pairs here. Chance to catch your breath. Uh, interruption. Oh, yeah, the reaction. Yeah, safer in there. Really pumped up to take that point. The shanta there didn't go strong with the top spin. Allowed him to get in with a strong topspin and Nana Sekaran just there with the block. Leader oh, four then into the second towel break of the game. Uh, pairs are committed, a towel break after every six points of uh, each game, just if you're not aware. Clever play there. Nana Sekaran was just crunching it away from the table, looking to get in with the topspin. Excellent touch play from Pitchford. Good feeling. Real creativity on that touch. Wonderful feeling from the Englishman. Went long, took it deep. It's as intense as we expected in these early stages. English on the comeback. Indians get the cheap point there. Two away from the opening game. Pitchford there, just trying to touch it back delicately. Just slightly misjudged. 
Indeed, now Pitchford with his two serves. Throw off the tape to aid the Indians, take them to game points. Three here for Ashanta and Yana Sekarin. Here he goes out on the diagonal. Third towel break of the opening game then. Out of it here, the Indians still in a great place. Got the service here on this second game point. and then Paul Drinkle follows in. Great teamwork. Ashanta oh! there, probably not playing strong enough. He just lifted the ball up. Pitchford on fire at the moment. Backhand I was just, I was just looking right at Raman in here. Yeah, it's come. Don, I was, I was looking at Raman at the end of that point, thinking, you've got to call the timeout. You can just know there you've lost the first three points. It's exactly as you said. It's carried over from the end of the previous game, what the English are doing to them, and that's why it's called the timeout. It's got to stop this run somehow. When they open the play out, the two Indian players, they have to go strong. It's no good just throwing the ball up. It's no good just playing down the back end or the forehand. England are strong on both wings. And unless you put them under pressure, they're playing really strong table tennis. It is a fantastic atmosphere here at the moment. At the moment you can probably gather cries of England followed by India ringing out one after another, really evenly matched, as is the matchup. Summarising what these Commonwealth Games have been all about, really, the fantastic atmospheres across all of the events, not least here in the table tennis and para table tennis competitions. Love three. Chance to resume with the service here off the timeout called by the Indians. Drop over the side of the table, played a good return. Great initiative. Stepped over the table, took the ball at the top of the bounds. Flicked it on the diagonal. There he goes. Out wide to Ashanta's forehand. Oh, the 
was amazing. Pitchford almost made it with that forehand top spin, only just missed. What a rally! Top spin to top spin. You know one of the good things Donny's here at the towel break as well? We've got four elite players, but with the crowd, you notice the importance of the crowd here because it's raising their performance level. That's what you're picking up here. The points are becoming even, even better all the time. It's a two-way process, of course, here. So good to watch. Jose! Feed off the energy of the crowd. Wonderful back of Thompson down the line. From Liam Pitford, here it goes. Just look at that. Even Nana Sekaran couldn't get across for that one, and he's one of the quickest players in the game. Sorry. Oh, that's unlucky for the kids. But in fairness, there, Drinkle's just trying to keep it tight. Well, you can't keep it much tighter than that. I know he had a little bit of luck, but he was trying to do that, keep it ever so low. The luck favoured him, of course it did. Can they keep it going? Go on, and Yana Sekar in mid. Trying to go through over the table there and misses out. But of course now the Indian players feel under pressure. They know they've got to take every opportunity. Nana Sekar ran there, thought he could make the flick. Maybe just trying to be a little too aggressive, but that's perfectly understandable at the moment. Now misses his own uh, flick there, backhand side that time the other second. The pressure's building on the Indians, point you made, Dom. Combination of the crowd here and the level that drink all and pitch that have found. Oh, now, OK, so that nice. levels things up. It's another pretty much a dead net. I do think on the, the, the nets and the edges, OK, one game might swing somebody's way, but overall, at the end of the match, look tends to balance itself out. The nets and edges are tend to be shut, and that's why the top players don't even react. They know, come the end of the match, it'll be 50-50 on the lucky points. Gives them some level. So Yana now to begin game four. Oh. Another one of those angles, not for the first time. Pitchford burns the Indians there with quality. Nothing Ashanta could do about that. stage i think england carry on the same way playing strong india on the other hand when they open up they've got to open up with a strong ball try and put england under a little bit more pressure exactly like that ashanta's just been sort of lifting that first one and pitchford and drinkle both playing fantastic so they're just attacking the ashanta topspin he needs to just play a bit stronger or tighter and tighter and stronger with the flank, with the top spin. Just needs to put the two English players under a little bit more pressure. You just, when Drinkle was in that sort of position, the form he's in right now, you talked about it earlier, Don, you just don't expect him to miss. He always makes the right decision right now. 
Shanta disappointed with himself there. He just popped that one up slightly, only slightly. But Drinkle is in such good form. Surprising when he uh, makes an error as he did there. It's been all the way through, right the way through from the uh, the team events. I've been saying this about about Drinkle, his high level that he's maintained. He's pushed out of position there. Indians open up a leader two. English back with the service now. The nanosecond round serve indeed. A shanter there just signalling the serve that he would like. all the way. Pitch for Carl Convert there at the table. And just as was the case four years ago, these two top pairings are going to a decider in the gold medal match. India hitting back to take the fourth. 11 points to seven. to make that, to be honest. He's in position there, gets to the ball at the top of the bounds by his high standards. He'll be very disappointed with that miss. <laughs> Through the middle, jamming a shanter, Drinkle there. Losing the first two points, now they take the next three, the English. rising as well in this fifth as you'd expect all around the arena oh, the through the middle. Oh. The great backhand jumps from, from the 40 year old there he is laid it down the middle three points apiece as the players take the option which they can every six points to towel down see the short serve he likes the backhand oh. serve Nana Sekaran, and there he is he's stepping up to serve with his backhand very simple but keeps it short oh, oh, oh. There. short touch retouch eventually goes the Indians way I have to say all four players there good touch soft hands highly skillful short play Anyone's guess right now. Well, slightly longer than 10 seconds. The Indian players having a comp lap. Not sure what that's all about. Drinkle with his serve. Yeah! Oh, and pushes only finds the net. And it's the English who, as they turn around, are first to five here in the decider. Interesting here, actually. My mind goes back commentating the match four years ago because it talks about the, the pathway of the match, the fact that England were 2 1 down there on the goal post. But in the decider, if memory serves me correctly, it was tight like this, and then the English power clear, they went 9 4 clear, then the Indians came back. Similar, could be a similar sort of thing again, I mean, who knows? But uh, so far, uh, it's been utterly great. Led. Eight. Four. Oh, they win that as well. Yeah, pinch for reaction. He's made a ball there, basically out of his pocket, as we 
control it. Incredible get to keep the point alive. That was a bonus. And the second round really should have put that one away. Pitchford did it unbelievably well to return that one with Topspin. Super play. Now, they're back in the position they were four years ago.